Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video, part two of my robot lab, we're going to look at the Arduino service. So before we can connect an Arduino to my robot lab, one of the first things we need to do is install the mrlcom.ino program onto the Arduino. So for this, I'll be using an Arduino Nano. We will need to start the Arduino IDE. To install the MRL.com onto my robot lab, one of the first things we need, need to do is actually get the program. Now, once you've installed my robot lab on your computer, in the my robot lab folder, you will find a folder called resources. If you go into resources, you'll find a list of information, most of it's example scripts for different services. The one we're interested in at the moment is Arduino. So if you go into there, you'll see different icons used for it, and there will be an example script here somewhere. Here we go, Arduino Pi. But more importantly, there is MRLCOM. If we go into MRLCOM, this is the uh, Arduino program written in C++ for my robot lab. You'll find MRLCOM INO. And if you double, if you've installed the Arduino IDE, it will start up the IDE in your computer. If you haven't installed the Arduino Arduino IDE, I suggest going to the Arduino.cc website. That's the official website for the Arduino microcontrollers. And you can download for free the IDE. Okay, so if we go to tools, I'm running an Arduino Nano. I'm running an older version of it since I bought a heap of these a while back when they were cheap and I'm still working through them all. And in this case, we're gonna have a look at our serial ports. I haven't plugged it in yet. Now, the reason I haven't plugged it in yet is because I don't actually know what port it's going to be on. So looking at this, I can see I've got three COM ports existing already. That's COM1, COM10, and COM3. So if I click off that, Plug my Arduino. Okay, so now if I go to tools and port, we can see I've now got that extra COM6. So we can select COM6. And it does tell you down the bottom down here Arduino Nano on COM6. So let's just compile and upload. So it's finished compiling, it's now uploading. Now there's lots of different types of Arduinos out there. Uh, the most common used in my robot lab is the Nano, the Uno, and the Mega 2560. So make sure you select the correct one when you're compiling so that it builds it correctly. Generally, it doesn't take too long. So this is now done uploading. So we can now close down the IDE. We can go to runtime. I'm going to call this Nano, since I'm running an Arduino Nano. You can name a service almost anything you like, uh, as long as it's something you can understand. Pressing the tab, we go to service type. Arduino, tab to auto complete that, and tab to move on to the next one, then enter to start, or you can just use the mouse and click everything. So we've now got a new service over here called Nano. So remember, we're on COM6. I would leave the rate alone. Uh, sometimes it can be desirable to run a little bit slower not at the moment. The truth is we're running this over USB 
USB standard is a lot faster than that. The speed that it's referring to is actually between a chip on the back of the Arduino Nano and the actual AVR processor. So if we hit connect, it will have a bit of a chat and uh, it'll list up that we've got a Nano and all of the pins are currently in use. Now I can turn those pins on and off through this IDE, inter Interactive Development Environment, uh, but we're not going to. At this point, I just wanted to get the Arduino Nano connected and running so that we can use it for other services if we choose to do so. If when you're selecting pins to use on your Arduino, I would suggest you do not use D0 and D1 on the Uno or the Nano. Uh, I can't remember which ones they are on the Mega, Mega 2560, but there's a couple that are labeled RX and TX. Um, I think they're on D0 and D1, but I'm not positive. These are used by the USB, so try to avoid using them when you're using these nanos or you know with my robot lab. You can see here there's a number of analog channels as well so we can actually read the analogs. Well that'll do for this short video. If you like these videos don't forget to click on like, subscribe, ring that notification bell it's a form of support to help the channel break deal and cost you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to support the channel further, I do have a Patreon account and I'd like to thank, thank my long-term Patreons uh, Go Lucky and Lorenz Berger, both VIPs, and my builder Patreon, Rolls 45 There will be a link in the description to Patreon. I also have a Discord channel and there'll be a link in the description for that. You can have a chat with Fred online if you like. He's got lots of jokes to tell you if you ask him and there will be a link to the My Robot Lab Discord. And we'll see you in the next video.